Music defines and enriches our lives, whether experienced as a recording or a live performance, whether it's downloaded or streamed, sampled, remixed, or used within film or television. And the business of creating, protecting, and promoting songs and musical compositions is the business of music publishing. Well, there are lots of ways that you can discover a new songwriter. Essentially, now it's very easy to kind of look on, on the internet and have a listen and look at the video, but there's nothing that can replace the uh, impact and drama of a performance or seeing a songwriter performing their piece live. Jake Gosling and um, I mainly sort of produce and write. I've just uh, done Ed Sheeran's album Plus. I've um, been working with him for about five years now. It's um, the old fashioned getting the shivers, getting the buzz when you feel like a song's really communicating with you, when you kind of sense that that's going to communicate to more than just yourself or your team. Within the whole A&R process, the internet's definitely helped because the A&R people used to originally go out to every single gig. I think they still do, but not as much. You look on YouTube, you can see straight away how many views they've had. You know, you can see what their sort of Twitter followers are like. You've already got an idea in terms of not just the music, but you've also got an idea of whether or not it's actually communicating to a bigger audience. And that's what music is at the end of the day. It's about communicating songs. So you're, you're telling stories, you're putting them through, and you're hopefully connecting with a lot of people. We invest hundreds of millions of pounds on a yearly basis in the development of the careers of songwriters. Some of those songwriters will just write music, and they'll write music for other people to perform, or in many cases, of course, they will do both. They will create their own music, and then they will perform that music, and they will become stars. Once we've signed a songwriter and we've worked with them for some time, and we've got a body of work, that then falls to my creative team to, to go through the songs with the writer and try and target those artists that those songs might be right for. And in association with the record company, the A&R guys there who may be looking for a specific type of track, we will then select the songs that we've got that fall into those categories and pitch them. A lot of people tend to go, right, Cheryl Cole needs a track or X needs a track. They'll all get together in a room, the publishers will put them all together and, um, and they'll go away and write a track. When you're first starting out, you pretty much work on as much stuff as you possibly can because you never know. But I think you also have to get used to the whole knockback situation where you, you, know, you pitched for something, you, you give it a go, but it might not happen. Florence, in the beginning, you know, I can remember going to see her play just in a tiny pub when she's just hitting a drum and sort of singing to the drums. And very early on in, in her career, we did very specific things to help kind of build up people's awareness of Florence. You know, I think everybody heard Dog Days are over on the Slumdog Millionaire trailer. For it's moments like that that can really help to build build the picture for an artist. I mean, some, some writers are adept at writing lyrics, others frankly can't and don't want to. But I suppose ultimately you're just listening for something which is a little different, a little bit special that jumps out at you. I'm Jack. I'm Duncan. We started busking. Um, and then that led into, you know, playing gigs. Our main thing is playing live, I suppose. We started off playing more jazz-influenced music, and then we've gradually, over the past few years, become brought in more electronics and a lot more studio techniques. We're still very much a live band, but we have this, like, quite electronic sound. We've been with The Margin for the last two albums. We signed to them after we were nominated for the Mercury Prize and they've been really cool and they've always been really sort of positive and encouraging and helpful. So the writer writes and composes and is creative and, and dreams and those dreams become a reality. And making them a reality is the job of a publisher. 
The publisher will invest time and money and creativity and passion. Guide the, the writer. A publisher will advise. You may begin producers and engineers. What your main aim to do is to get people to believe in the artist and want to be part of what they're doing. Hunt down income that hasn't otherwise been collected for the writer. The business infrastructure, commissioning a work, registering the work and it involves promoting the work. Also looking for opportunities to raise their profile through that could be newspaper interviews, radio interviews. An enormous network worldwide. When A&R sign a writer that might at that point in their career be based on a certain thing they're doing, a record, it's you guys having the vision about how that works into the future too isn't it?